Welcome to English Alien. Here are some ways to practice. We have reading comprehension. There will be questions about the chapter at the end and in the description box below the video. Answer the questions in the comment section. Listening comprehension. You can close your eyes and listen to me read the story, then answer the questions in the comment section. Pronunciation. You can pause the video, read the words out loud with your voice, then play the video and listen to compare your pronunciation with mine. Vocabulary. Here are some less common words that are in chapter three. Pause the video. Review the definitions. We will go over them again after the chapter. The Force in the Forest by English Alien. Chapter 3. As night fell, the guide started a small fire and sat down to think about his shelter while the fire crackled softly. Despite fatigue and confusion, he felt safe at the moment, knowing he had created something to protect himself from the harsh weather and any creatures that lurked in the darkness. But his mind was still troubled by the attack that night. What happened to them? Why were they attacked? And what were those lights that were responsible? The mystery disturbed him, and he couldn't shake the feeling that something bigger was happening. Yet he couldn't ignore the astonishing connection he felt with the surrounding nature. Every sound, every smell, every sensation enveloped him and integrated him more deeply into the forest. He couldn't remember ever feeling so alive and connected in his entire life. However, he knew he had to find answers, both for the group of tourists and for himself. The guide closed his eyes to get some rest. But instead of feeling the usual sensation of sleep, he felt his awareness start to expand. He could feel the ground beneath him, the sap oozing through the trees and flowing water in a nearby river. It was as if his body and mind were merging with the forest. He became an integral part of the ecosystem. Though his body was at rest, his mind was fully alert and aware of everything around him. The guide felt his mind connect to something. He seamlessly blended into the darkness of the night jungle. His sleek form moved with grace and stealth, practically invisible amidst the shadows. His sharp senses guided him through the dense foliage, honed, to detect even the faintest sound and movements of his prey. His coat, adorned with spots, enhanced his camouflage. Each step he took was calculated and precise. His keen ears captured the symphony of the forest, revealing the presence of potential prey. With golden eyes adapted to low-light conditions, he saw the nocturnal world in vivid detail. Every subtle movement of small creatures signaled their presence, igniting his predatory instincts. His agile body tensed, ready to strike, as the intensity of his heartbeat fueled his determination. His awareness shifted. He soared through the moonlit night, 
his wings gliding gracefully on the cool breeze. His sharp eyes scan the darkness below, searching for any movement. Suddenly, he spotted a mouse on the forest floor. Time seemed to slow as he focused on his target. Calculating the perfect angle for descent, with silent wings he dove swiftly, talons outstretched, aiming for a precise strike. In that fleeting moment, his instincts took over. He could hear the rapid beating of the mouse's heart. The thrill of the chase surged through him as he closed in on his prey. In one swift motion, his talons closed around the small, trembling body of the mouse. Its delicate squeaks filled the night air, but it was futile. He had captured his prize. As he ascended back into the night sky, a mix of satisfaction and hunger flowed through him. Fascinated with these new primal experiences, he shifted his awareness again. He was slithering through the undergrowth. His forked tongue flicked out, tasting the air, seeking the scent of potential prey. The forest was alive with the chorus of rustling leaves and distant calls. But he remained focused on his hunt. With each calculated movement, he surveyed the surroundings, searching for any signs of vulnerable creatures. His eyes, sharp and unblinking, scanned the terrain, detecting even the slightest movement. The warm earth beneath his scales pulsed with the rhythm of life, guiding him towards his next meal. The anticipation grew as he followed the trails left by passing prey. And then, in an instant, he spotted it. A small, unsuspecting creature. He coiled his body, preparing to strike. The world around him faded as his senses honed in on his target, his focus resolute. In that moment, he became the living concept of patience and precision, ready to seize the opportunity for a successful hunt. As the night continued, the guide surrendered to the nocturnal experiences of the forest, flowing from one moment to another with no clear sense of time. Chapter 3 Vocabulary Review To lurk To be or remain hidden so as to wait in ambush for someone or something. Okay, ambush is like a surprise attack. Despite fatigue and confusion, he felt safe at the moment, knowing he had created something to protect himself from the harsh weather and any creatures that lurked in the darkness. To envelop. To wrap up, cover, or surround completely. Okay, so if you get into a pool, you would be enveloped in water. Every sound, every smell, every sensation enveloped him and integrated him more deeply into the forest. Integral. Necessary to make a whole, complete, essential, or fundamental. It was as if his body and mind were merging with the forest, becoming an integral part of the ecosystem. To enhance, intensify, increase, or further improve the quality, value, or extent of. His coat, adorned with spots, enhanced his camouflage. Okay, so his spots improved his camouflage. Adorned means decorated. 
to tense, to make a muscle or one's body tight or rigid. His agile body tensed, ready to strike, as the intensity of his heartbeat fueled his determination. To glide, to move smoothly, continuously, and effortlessly. His awareness shifted. He soared through the moonlit night, his wings gliding gracefully on the cool breeze. To surge, to rise suddenly to an excessive or abnormal value. The thrill of the chase surged through him as he closed in on his prey. Okay, so if you have a surge in energy, you have a sudden increase in energy. Futile, serving no useful purpose, completely ineffective. Its delicate squeaks filled the night air, but it was futile. Okay, so the squeaks served no purpose. It was ineffective in help. To slither, to slip or slide like a snake. Okay, this word is very specific to the movement of a snake. He was slithering through the undergrowth. To flick, to strike lightly with a quick, sharp motion. His forked tongue flicked out, pasting the air, seeking the scent of potential prey. To hone in, to move toward or focus attention on an objective. The world around him faded as his senses honed in on the target, his focus resolute. Okay, so to hone in is a focus of attention. To seize, to possess or take by force, capture. In that moment, he became the living concept of patience and precision, ready to seize the opportunity for a successful hunt. Questions for Chapter 3 Choose one or more questions to answer in the comments section below. Answer in complete sentences. I will respond with feedback and error correction to the first 50 comments. Number one. What was the guide thinking about when he stopped to rest? Number two. Instead of sleep, what did his mind do? Number three, what animals did the guide connect with? Okay, number four is more of a personal question. What animal would you like to connect with and participate in their experience or experiences? And five, write a question the story created for you. Again, this is to practice writing questions because their structure is a little different than regular sentences or statements. I look forward to your comments. Thank you for visiting English Alien. Click subscribe and get notified for new content.